and welcome back everybody we now have a tamed giganotosaurus uh, just tamed up relatively uneventful tame um, the taking him down was the hardest part uh, everything else went pretty smoothly so we got the, that and he is now ours, a level 60. We ended up getting 19 levels out of him. So that's good. Um, so let's take him around and see what he can do for us. I don't have a saddle yet, so we'll have to take him back uh, to the base. Hey there, little guy. Little girl. And let's see what he can do. Oh, he's on neutral. I want to put him on attack target. I want to see. Well, I know what he can do. Let's just get him back to the base. So I think Josh might be popping in here to check in with us. But otherwise, we're just going to get him back to the base. And get a saddle made up. Where is he? Underneath me? All right. So yeah, the team itself went pretty good. Um, if you just let them kind of do their thing and clear out an area and then try to take them down you know with the Quetzal or whatever there's not much left in the area that's gonna do any harm as long as you have two people someone to keep an eye on the Torpor and someone to run and get Prime um, unless you have Kibble of course you probably should have two people um, it definitely could be possible to do it with one um, but it would be high stress trying to get that stuff all done as even with two people it was still a little bit stressful but there's our first one we got a male level 60 giganotosaurus to add to our arsenal uh, now we're gonna have to play around with them and see I don't think we're gonna end up riding him much because riding him if you fall off you can anger him and get that rage mode going and then he'll turn on you and any of your dinosaurs so I think what we're gonna do is use him probably have a saddle on him just to ride but for the most part we'll probably use him with a bird and just set him on attack target and uh, and just have him kinda of be like the pit bull where you'll go in with a bird or pterodon and he will take care of the rest. Look at that fucking beast. What a monster. What a monster. Alright, so let's name him. I think we'll go with Hulk. Just because it's very fitting. And we'll leave him on neutral. What are you doing over here? Oh. So yeah, that's pretty badass. So let's get him next to the T-Rex now that he's tamed. and I've, We've seen him next to a T-Rex, but not standing still and not for very long. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. The size difference in that thing. Jeez. Hmm. I can't get good light for some reason. I want to get a good screenshot for this episode. Maybe we'll do it from this side to get some good light. There we go. So, yeah. Um, that's done, thankfully. Now, hopefully, we'll have him to protect us from any more that come around. Uh, we will be taming more. Um, pretty much anything that we see. Let me see. I'll probably take a little Quetzal view. I think we'll be taming everyone we see, I believe. From what I understand, it's a lot easier to tame them than it is to kill them. So I think we'll go that route. And I definitely want a female. This is a male 60. Uh, so we will want a female. Uh, let's see if I can do a K mode. Zoom in, because this will be part of our breeding uh, experiment. 
Well, I'll do that off camera. I don't need to bring you guys in with the um, thumbnail, but that's pretty dope. He's so big. He is so big. Now, I'll just pray that he doesn't get angered and turn on our our own dudes. Cause from what I understand, it can happen. So, and um, since I got you guys here, I might as well just show you real quick before Josh jumped on. I did go ahead and fix this uh, corner, so now it's just straight walls which should make it easier for running power lines and lights and such so right now the only jog we have is this one here and looking at it I'm almost wondering if I just continue that wall straight to that little corner over there then I could avoid this jog completely. Maybe I'll do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to square that off so I can avoid this jog completely. And then this little area will, can be a nice little storage pen for something. And then uh, I will be working on this area next. Completing or starting this wall. Um, so we can get this area, the fence determined. So I can start working on that. And then the Giganotosaurus was the important one I wanted to bring you guys in on. I didn't want to tame that without having that on video, considering how much trouble he's caused me already. So that's done and over with. Now I'm going to get back to building. And probably won't bring you guys in for another day until I have some real progress, because I'm just going to grind now and build and try to get this all mapped out, laid out, finished. And then I'll bring you guys back with a lot of progress. And once I have a safe place to start putting people, um, we'll start the large level taming here pretty soon. I do have to do some mountain mining for metal for all of the wires because I want to run those before I start building walls to make sure if I need to move a wall or tear something down, I can do it without wasting a ton of metal or other resources. I don't want to build the walls and then find out they won't work. Um, so I do have to do some off-camera metal mining. I think we got a full box, but that's not going to be even close to enough wire to run this whole place. Um, I will probably include you guys on a little bit of that just to show you how that's done. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of grinding. So I'm going to get to it, cut this video sh really short. It's probably going to be a 10-15 minute video. And then bring you guys back when I have some real progress and this base is starting to get mapped out. So, give you guys one last view of our male 60 Giganotosaurus Hulk. Do a little fly around. And I wish I could go in his belly and get both my birds back. Prick. But at least he's on our side now until somebody pisses him off. Um, so we'll have to test that too. I think I'm going to take out some type of garbage. Maybe this T-Rex or something. Some type of low level something and piss him off and see what happens. Because I'd like to have first hand experience to know what I'm getting into with this guy. If I have to keep him separate or what the deal is. So, uh, But thanks for joining me guys. Uh, we finally got him after all the times he got us. And uh, we'll bring you back when we got some more building stuff to show you. So thanks for tuning in. Sorry about the short episode, but don't want to drag my feet and just want to get right back into building. So hope you guys join me next time. Thank you.